climate protection, which is the much more complex challenge we, we are facing. We not only have to find a vaccine and remedies, but we have to change everything in the way we are doing business and living. The problem is that policymakers are acting more or less on a national basis yeah. and not on a European and not even uh, on a multilateral fundament. It's a global public good when we speak about tackling the climate change. We can't solve the problem. We can't address the problem with one country or several countries. All of us need to work for to, to address the climate change issue. We really have to focus on enormously intelligent and efficient ways to tackle this challenge. So even if we are forced to stop a lot of activities, we cannot reach a, the goal we agreed before. So we need to introduce something more, and that is the innovation. So we have to see how we get the mobility sector that we fossilize in combination with the energy sector. All of this is, is very demanding, uh, but it can be done by technology and by innovation. And this is, of course, a core competence of industry. GMS has made the commitment that every time it gathers leaders from all around the world, it's not only about learning about best practices and listening to inspiring leaders, it's about leaving a legacy. We wanted to initiate a legacy that can truly make a difference to our world, ensuring green energy to make green products that can be bought using green currencies. Hence, I'm proud on behalf of the Organizing Committee for GMS 2020 to formally announce our new legacy initiative called the Green Chain. What is unique about this initiative is that it includes all the countries around the world, not just the ones with fossil fuel and not just the ones with renewable energy. In that sense, what better partner for us to adopt and co-lead this initiative than Germany? A country with a proven track record in launching strategies for carbon neutrality.